All righty, folks. It is official. Redfin has said it, so it must be true. The buyer has all the power today. So we're going to talk to the one and only Mr. Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage about all the ways buyers can get great deals. But before we do that, we must do the marketing thing so we both don't get in trouble. Go for it. Thank you for remembering, sir. Uh, and thank you for having me back on the channel. Although, again, I work very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital. All the ideas and uh, topics discussed on this channel are that of my own. So let's get it going. So when I think about all the ways that I have taken average, good, whatever, de bad deals and made them great, I don't think I don't think the average buyer who's only been doing this for you know a couple of months or a couple of years understands mm -hmm. how much power the buyer has today. So um, I thought maybe we'll play the game of ping pong and we'll just go back and forth uh, between you and I to see how many great things we could think of. So, Stephen, you're the guest. What's the first thing you think of? Well, first off, I don't know if ping pong would be the right sport if you want to play against me uh, in any case, <laughs> whether it be verbally, uh, you know. Uh -huh. uh, 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 so you might want to pick okay. something that's a little bit more fair to yourself because ping pong, I mean, <laughs> it would just be one-sided. So maybe uh, verbal tennis? Okay, tennis. Saying, verbal okay. tennis. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it'd be crushing defeat. Um, any case, uh. <laughs> The different applications of the features of the product, I think, yeah. um, kind of allow for just depending upon, you know, circumstances and, and strategies and, and resources available for that deal, yeah. really allow you to get a great deal nowadays. Because just, you know, in this current increasing rate environment, it gets very difficult when trying to incorporate, you know, regular financing, you know, with, with trying to get a private cash flows. Because again, rates are just higher. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what we've been able to do with the combination, you know, with, with the allowance of up to a 90% CLTV oh, yeah. or combined loan to value, you can, in some cases, structure the financing in a way to where the payment is still kind of allowed to, or, or is lowered in the blended rate between my loan and potentially, in this case, the seller financing in combination to my first mm -hmm. to where the probably could cash flow, uh, yeah. even at a higher leverage, because again, um, ideally, what we talk about a lot on that 50, 40, 10 setup, if I can just, you know, lend on 50% of the property at my rate plus yeah. or blend it with the seller uh, second rate, which is, you know, normally from what I've seen uh, on these types of deal, uh, deals that I've done, 1% typically interest only, 10-year balloon. Right. When you yeah. can combine that with my my rate on the first, somewhere around 9%, you're going to get somewhere in the low sixes, mid sixes as far as a blended rate, I believe, yeah. at 90% leverage. So. Just calculating, doing the no, doing the work, running the numbers, yep. and seeing cash flows, and that's one way to to kind of structure a potential deal to where, hey, give maybe the seller their price, but the seller has to kind of give you your terms, and so mm -hmm. you kind of get the best of both worlds for for each other, and everybody wins. But it just takes a much more meaningful conversation, and you got to be more creative. You got to look at things from a different you know perspective to really understand the big picture. But just one mm -hmm. way. One way of getting it's, a good deal. Yeah, I think the ninety percent CLTV, the fifty forty ten, as we you know jokingly called it for a year and a half now, is, is going to be mm -hmm. wildly successful for many folks. In fact, uh, I think it was Cody. I might be remembering the name wrong, but I think Cody closed three of them, uh, fifty forty ten, or two of them. One of them was a ninety percent just straight seller financing. But I know it works. I've I've known people to do it. Matt the lumberjack's done one with you, and, yep. and many many others yep. have. So it's yep. pretty cool. Um. It's really funny when I talk to new investors or I do my boot camps, everybody thinks price because that's, you know, that's, it makes sense, right? We all want to get a lower price, but sometimes to your point, it's terms, right? And I get asked all the time, why would a seller carry back a 40% at 1%? The answer, generally speaking, is because you're giving them their price right. and you want to hold this asset forever. So you want your terms. Right. right. I keep telling people, you know, I overpaid for a single family home once by 20 percent. I overpaid by 20 percent, but I got right. a 30 year fixed rate loan at one percent. So I'm good. Right. <laughs> I'm OK. I, I wasn't going to flip yeah. that house. I was going to hold it forever. Uh, right. So, you know, it's pretty funny. So, again, you could pull on the price lever. And I strongly suggest everybody try that. That's why I I will not write an offer today on a property that my general offer will be 30% below asking, but it's, it's where I'm going to start. We'll see what happens from there. 
I'm only writing offers on uh, properties on the market over 30 days. So I'm, I'm, I want to find distressed sellers. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, so for I sure. Do that. Motivated. Yeah. Motivated. And, and as we get into the Thanksgiving and Christmas, they're going to be increasingly motivated. So that's Agreed. where I'm going. I do this every year. Mm -hmm. So that's one. The other thing that I think is really wild that you've really brought to me is is getting um, points, right? Having the seller kick in some some points. So why don't you tell folks what that's all about? Well, uh, in addition to the 90% CLTV allowance, uh, we also allow for the seller to contribute uh, typically up to 3% um, uh, towards the buyer's non-recurring closing costs. So they could pay an additional up to three points for the buyer to use to typically buy down the rate um, to increase the you know opportunity of the property to cash flow. So another lever to pull. You know, seller to carry the second starts of the financing, so you can cash flow, and then maybe have them buy down the you know the rate as well to lower the payment, increase cash flow as as well. So a lot of different little things that you can kind of use to get a quote unquote you know great deal in this kind of environment. So worst they can say is no, but when they say yes, when they're that motivated, it works yeah. out. You know. So let's give some people what, an example of what the points might be. So let's say you're buying a two hundred thousand dollar investment property. That's it's just that simple. It's uh, two hundred grand times three percent, which equals six grand. Is that that simple? Right. Right. Yeah. So again, that's six thousand bucks that doesn't have to come out of your pocket. And if you're playing with my deal spreadsheet, that just lowers closing costs. Uh, so again, that will help the yield. The yield gets better when the seller kicks in closing costs. Uh, so what do we got? We got lower price. We got closing costs. Uh, we got uh, creative financing, fifty, forty, ten, blended rate, sub six. Do the math. Right. Uh, right. The other one that's really powerful today that I'm seeing more from my followers is getting the seller to do work in escrow. You get an inspection. There's eight right. grand in termite damage. Mm -hmm. A year ago, you had to eat that as the buyer. Right. Now you're like, uh -huh, sorry, I got the power, Mr. Seller. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have to do that in right. escrow. Um, right. So I'm seeing a lot of that these days. Are, are you as well? <laughs> Well, we're seeing kind of a, a, a come, I guess, a combination of that to some degree. The seller can do that, and or if the uh, buyer gets in a credit, uh, or in other ways where maybe if there's a repair needed, and we might do what's called a cost to cure, and then hold that amount back, hmm. uh, uh, minus out from the amount loan amount sure. that we were going to lend, and then once the repair is done and we get proof of everything done, we just release that amount. So. It's kind of like, yeah, they get paid up front, get it done, and then they get kind of made whole. So either they, the seller does it or the buyer, but I've seen it as well. It just depends on negotiating and 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 who's got the 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 negotiating power, I guess, at that at that situation. Cause sometimes it's the buyer, sometimes it's the seller. But but yeah, no, I've seen the I've seen sellers cover that as well. Yeah. So again, there's price, getting closing costs up to three points. There's yep. loan structure, uh, there's yep. repairs, and there's yep. terms. Mm -hmm. right? There are so many levers that people need to understand. And one of the things that I really encourage people to do, because again, the market is slower mm -hmm. and that's a good thing. You can evaluate deals. You can call professionals like Stephen Dow here and present what you're thinking, because maybe in his thousands of loans, he has seen something that might be more creative than you're thinking about. Uh, so Stephen, if somebody wanted to reach out, run a loan by you, what, what, uh, how would they do that? Email is usually the best way to start. And then from there, uh, if you, you know, kind of provide enough information, I can just shoot a quick email. Otherwise, I'll just usually call back um, or ask for a best phone number to reach you at. But typically email me at sdao at velocity, the word mortgage uh, spelled out dot com. In the subject line, please be, uh, put the acronym O-R-A-A-T to make it past the firewall in the body of the email. Uh, property address would be great or at least city and state where you're looking to you know get financing in maybe a brief description of what you're looking for best phone number to reach at fico score would really help as well and typically 24 48 hours i'll be in touch awesome buddy i appreciate you s dow at velocitymortgage.com later yes sir